Hello friends, in this session we will take up the solutions for, for questions 5 to 8 of class 5 Arabata paper 2017 part 2. So let's look at this fifth question. The length and breadth of a rectangle are both prime numbers. If the perimeter of the rectangle is 80 meter, then we need to find out its maximum possible area. So it is given that perimeter of rectangle is equal to 80 meter. And we know that the perimeter of rectangle is given by the formula 2 into the sum of length and breadth of the rectangle and that is 80 meters. So L plus B comes out to be 40 meter and it is given that both length and breadth are prime numbers. So if we look at the possible LB pair values they are 37 and 3, 29, 11 and 23, 17. So these are the only three options where both length and breadth are prime numbers. So with these three options, what are the different areas possible? So possible areas are first is 37 into 3 which comes out to be 111 meter square. Second is 29 into 11, which comes out to be 319 meter square. And third is 23 into 17, which comes out to be 391 meter square. So the maximum area is 391 meter square. So this is the maximum possible area with the given information. Moving to the next question, choose the cube that is formed from the given net. So this is the net which is given to us and we will fold it to form a cube. So clearly we see that with this dot, the face with the vertical lines will never be together. Whereas in option A and C, we see that after folding, after making it a cube, the dot is coming adjacent to this vertical line face. So A and C are definitely not the correct option. Now if we see, if we, can, if we fold it, we will see that the face with the vertical lines will be coming up as shown in the option B and not as coming in the option B. So the cube that will be formed will be option B here. Moving on to the next question. In this given figure, the circle intersects the bigger square exactly at the midpoint of its sides. The area of the bigger square is given to be 49 centimeter square. We need to find out the perimeter of the given figure. So before finding out its perimeter, let's first find out the dimensions of each of these shapes. So we see a small square here. We have a big square and we have a circle. So as it is given that the circle intersects the bigger square exactly at the midpoint of its sides and the area of the bigger square is 49 centimeter square. which means its side will be square root of 49 which is 7 centimeter. So we have this side is 7 centimeter. So since the circle is intersecting at exactly the midpoint, so we can say that the radius of the circle will be half of 7 which is 3.5 centimeter. And now if we look at this part, we see that this square side ha is just equal to the radius. So small si square side is again 3.5 centimeter and circle radius is 
3.5 centimeter. Now let's look at what do we need to find out? We need to find out the perimeter of the given figure. So the perimeter of the given figure will be this plus this. I am drawing the outside boundary of this figure. So we clearly see that the perimeter would be this side of the square the bigger bigger square so it is 7 plus this side of the square which is also 7 plus half of this side of the square which is 3.5 plus this is one fourth of the perimeter or you can say circumference of circle plus this side of the small square which is 3.5 plus this side of the square which is also 3.5 plus this one fourth of the perimeter of circle plus this half side of the bigger square which is again 3.5. So if we add all of these we get 7 plus 7 14 plus 3.5 which is 17.5 plus 3.5 21 plus 3.5 which is 24.5 plus 3.5 which is 28 plus one fourth plus one fourth which is half of the perimeter of circle. So now if we see what is the perimeter of circle. It is 2 pi r and we need to find half of it. So it becomes pi into r which is 22 by 7 into 3.5. And that comes out to be 11 centimeter. So the perimeter of the given figure is 28 plus this half the perimeter of the circle which is 11. So this comes out to be 39 centimeter which is the perimeter of the given figure. Moving to the last question of this session. If 1 centimeter cube of water weighs 1 gram and 1 cubic centimeter cube of synthetic wood weighs 0.33 gram, then the difference of weight between 1 cubic meter of water and 1 cubic meter of synthetic wood is. So the thing to be noted here is we are given for 1 cubic centimeter and we need to find the difference for 1 cubic meter. So now weight of 1 cubic centimeter of water is 1 gram and if we find out the weight of 1 cubic meter of water it will be 1 into 10 to power 6 gram right because 1 meter is 10 to power 2 centimeter and it is 1 cubic meter so it will become 10 to power 6 multiplied with the weight of 1 cubic centimeter. So now weight of 1 cubic centimeter of synthetic wood is given to be 0.33 gram. Now similarly finding the weight of 1 cubic meter of synthetic wood we will again multiply this with, with 10 to power 6 because again meter and centimeter conversion remains the same. So now the difference between the weight of 1 cubic meter of water and 1 cubic meter of synthetic would be this minus 
this which would be 1 1 into 10 to power 6 minus 0.33 into 10 to power 6 or we can say 0.67 into 10 to power 6 gram or we can also write it as 670 kilogram. So this is the difference in the weight. Friends, you can visit us at our Cool Smart Learning website and subscribe to our Cool Smart Learning channel to get more updates on the new sessions.